Welcome to the Weekly Geek. Hi. How are you? I'm doing pretty well. How are you? Good, 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 good. good. It's the October... It's the 20th. <laughs> it's October 20th, and we're here to show you a couple of quick things. I'm Mark Gilbertson, and this is the fabulous... Megan Toll. Hi. Megan Toll. And this is Air Server in the background. Yes, it is. It's my daughter uh, at the rodeo. Isn't that a cool picture? That's pretty cool. Using Snapseed to kind of make it cool, which we'll talk about a little later. Nice. So, you know, a lot of people at our school are doing these Google Site PLPs right now, yes, Megan. They and are. We've been playing with them ourselves here in the Weekly Geek Tech Lab. Of course. <laughs> and so, you know, it's great because Google Sites, you know, they have those templates, which I think pretty much everybody has downloaded. Now you go and you don't have to kind of create something from your own. You just get a nice little template that you can create it with. And so I think you and I have both done our own little uh, PLP template. Here. Yes. And so with mine, I just had a couple of quick tips and tricks maybe that we could uh, chat about. And I know you've got some too because you're just super cool. So um, a couple of my tips and tricks is as I was playing with mine, one of the things about Google Sites uh, is that it has a hard time seemingly from the iPad especially getting multiple pictures on a single page. Yes, definitely. So what will happen is because it's coming from your camera roll, it tries to name every picture the same thing. So right. it kind of just makes the last picture the um, the thing that you actually sort of have. So if you have okay. like a picture of you and then a picture of me, it'll just take over my picture. Will take oh, over, which is kind of a kind of one of those things. It's kind of interesting and kind of a pain. You know, it'll yeah, also well. flip it on its side sometimes. You know, and what I found okay. is kind of just reloading the picture does that kind of nicely. So there fixes that. Uh, a lot of the time, you have to do that with. Uh, these programs, you just have to reload mm -hmm. the picture, and it should be prop fine. Kind of sets it up correctly. Yes. So, hey. Hey. We're here. And we'll go back to our, uh, our, uh, our we're kind of showing up here. So here's my Google site in the background yes. that I made up. And just a couple of trips on, this is just my homepage here. And because I was frustrated with the number of pictures I could get on there, and I really wanted to express myself a little bit differently, I just used one of our favorite tools here. As you can see over in the corner here, I've got a pic collage. Oh, yes. Just okay. a simple pic collage. And I took a bunch of pictures of me and kind of threw it up there. And I think the kids are pretty familiar with pic collage, like it, and use it. And I saved it to my camera roll and then popped it up here as an image under editing. So it was really pretty simple and easy to do. Right. I know I use pic collage every day, just mm -hmm. about. So it's a great way to, and a, an easy way to get yeah. pictures together. Yeah. It's one of those ones that's pretty fun and uh, easy to use. And um, it's pretty cool. And then I've got one down here at Chatter Picks, too. Chatter Picks are fun. We've been using these for years too. Just kind of add some spice to, to what's going on and you can embed those pretty easily as well. But they're a little trickier because they are a video. Right. So let's take a look at chatter picks real quick. I know we've, we're going to run into our 10 minute limit here pretty well, quickly. You know, but, this is you know, something that I'm not as familiar with though so I would like to see it. So the, the pick collage is a pretty simple one to do. Yeah. This is what the chatter picks ends up looking like. Chatter picks is a very strange little program that allows you to take a picture, draw a line for a mouth over it and then narrate the right, picture. Right, right, right. <laughs> okay. So here's my little chat picks. Maybe. It's only a couple seconds long, and I had to pull it up from Google Drive, so it's pulling from. Hi, this is my dad. Have fun with your portfolio. <laughs> <laughs> so that's, of course, starring my daughter. Of course. Tante Faye, who um, is helping me out there with a the chatter picks. So chatter picks is super easy to use. And uh, why don't we do one really quickly here? So chatter picks has been around for a while. This is not a new tool, but can be one of those ones that can kind of spice up how you kind of record your learning. And um, it's kind of cool. It's one that we used at, at uh, MGI this summer, and, okay. and one of those ones that kind of you forget about. You know, <laughs> you kind of put away a little bit like picolage, and uh, all of a sudden you remember, hey, that's kind of a fun one to uh, to use. Yeah. So they've got a, they've got a gallery of pictures, but you know, it's I think more fun to. Add actually kind of take a picture every now and then or at least take one and so what I had done before is I had taken one from my um, my camera roll and then kind of modified it using a program called Snapseed which I like doing so if we go into the selfie picture here all right we take our picture okay we got our picture all right pretty easy to do here kind of okay. yeah yeah and take so a picture. Everyone it's knows a, how to do that. Yeah, you Actually. like that picture? So then I get to go like this. Okay. And I'm going to draw a mouth pretty close to yours. Now, it doesn't have okay. to be exact because it's just goofy, you know? Right, right. So I'm going to draw that there. Let me, uh, let me make it so that uh, our beautiful selves are not kind of in the way there. Okay, okay. so I've drawn that mouth. And then I get to record. And I'm going to be Megan here. <laughs> Hi, come to the library and check out books. Or else. <laughs> <laughs> You think that's a pretty accurate portrayal of me? 
<laughs> I do accurate portrayals of nothing. All right. And you know, one of the cool things about Chatterpix is like Snapseed, you can kind of modify things at the end. So although nice. this is kind of cool, you can add a couple of filters Whoa. here. You know, you can do this one. I kind of like that one. What I like that think? one, yeah. What do you like? I, as I mocked you, I'll let you choose the filter. Oh, gosh, not that one. No. A little I scary. Like that one. All right, this one. And you can add other kind of fun things like. You know, you can add glasses to me <laughs> and stuff like this. It's just kind of goofy. Nothing that you want to kill yourself on as far as expressing learning, but it does make it kind of kind of fun. Yeah. So. Interesting. The next thing you do is just play it like this. Okay. And here's the way it turned out. All right. Come to the library and check out books. I'm quite sure if the volume like is long that. enough. Yeah, so let's try it again. Let's try it one more time. Alright, come to the library and check out books. Or else. Nice. So you can use Chatterpix to talk about a quick project. You can take a picture of a project with yourself, a selfie, and explain it or something like that. You could have George Washington explaining mm -hmm. something about his presidency. You know, you could do a lot of stuff. Right, a book cover. You could do a yeah. book cover and narrate it like a book summary. You only get 30 seconds, so you got to be pretty quick. Um, and then what I did actually is I saved it to my photos. Yep. Here, so it goes right into my photos as a short little video. Mm -hmm. And then I took that and went right to Google Drive. Awesome. So once I got to photos, I went to Google Drive, and then I was able to put that little video right in my site. Right so the... does your site allow you to pull stuff right from Google Drive without uploading it? It does. So okay. it allows you to do kind of a, a kind of a, a direct link. So it doesn't sit right there on the site. Right. It's actually a link to the doc or the video. Oh, so okay. if we actually change this video around, we edited it or something like that, or with doc, it's great because you know with your goal setting forms and things like that, um, you know you want to modify them in docs, not on the site. Right. So you modify them in docs, but it'll update it right on the site. There. That's awesome. So it's pretty cool. So there we are with our little so. gallery, and you can see the one that I did before there. So Chatterpix, it's just a quick, fun little uh, tool. Yeah. So if we head back to uh, sites real quick, I know you've played with sites a lot. You know, we are, I would not say that sites is our favorite website development. That's honest. But they're due for an update very quickly. Yes. And I think it'll be a pretty good one because and they I use do this all old. through college, so mm -hmm. you know it's something that. I know about. Yeah. So. It's pretty comfortable and it's great that we can do templates. That's the yes, really that cool really part awesome. to get people set up and then we can kind of branch off and do some more creative stuff once we get sort of the basics down. Definitely. So it's really easy to add a image or something from Google Drive. You just hit that like pencil up there which is editing as you remember. Nice. Okay. Unless you're unable to connect, which happens too. Which happens, and it does say try again later. Please yeah. try again later. Oh, it's, it's, uh, polite. It's, it's polite, you know, when Google tries to do that. <laughs> And again, you know, we've got about 20 people that we can get on an access point at a time. Right. Um, but it does work pretty slick once you get in there. Um, so I've edited it, and uh, what you're going to end up doing is just uh, as it's loading the editor here, you remember how we can insert things. So yep. let me uh, slide over here, make this just a little bigger so we can actually see this portion of it. Uh, there. And where you've got insert, over here you can insert stuff and there's all sorts of different stuff that you can insert once you're in editing mode here. Yep. Again, you get to play with the iPad keyboard thing a little bit, but once you're in there, it's pretty cool. Now, one of the places that I like to insert things from is Google Drive. And once you're in Google Drive, you've got all sorts of stuff. So with that chatter pics, I had saved it to Google Drive and I just went right to video. Yep. And Hold it right up and uh, and plopped it in there. Great. So it's pretty easy to save on Google Drive, and then seventh graders don't have to worry about uh, the YouTube restrictions and things like that. Right. So that's awesome. So in the library, we've had a really a couple of really good weeks of projects. So I just wanted to shout. Wait, out wait, wasn't that cool though? What? Chatterpix. Yeah, so cool. Hi. Right. I just want to say that I'm so excited to see the teachers that have been bringing classes into the library for projects. Um, Miss Willian did a bo her Boggs project, and we've had. Um, a lot of different projects. We've got, I was going to write them down, but I forgot to. So um, I just have really been enjoying having all your students in. Nikki had uh, her two classes in, and she's going to bring her third class in for dance styles and choreographers. And uh, I just really appreciate seeing everyone and making sure that every, all the students know how to uh, find their information efficiently and well. And is it too late to fill out your uh, Halloween survey? No. So we're closing it tomorrow. So oh. get your answer in. Students are eligible for a prize if they enter. 
So closed on Wednesday? Wednesday, Thursday. We'll Wednesday. do Thursday because then they'll finish up. Because mm. it's accessible through the library site. And that Thursday would be for teachers because kids won't be here. Yeah. But that's cool. So come in. It's great. It's uh, the Halloween. Uh, it's uh, what, what, what sort of stories what scare you? What stories freak you out the most? And we have a lot of horrifying tales on display right now. So we are fully enjoying the scary season. All right. That's our 10 minute. Uh-oh. Okay. Fun. Let's finish it. All right. You've been geeked. Have fun. I'm Mark. This is Megan. Have a great long weekend. Enjoy your chatter picks, your Google sites, your PLPs, and our fabulous library. Yay!